All right, it's time for another ISO Watch episode. And uh, this one is also listed uh, on uh, my side project, distrohunt.org. Today we are looking at the latest Linux Mint 19 beta. And uh, we're looking at their main desktop, their uh, Cinnamon. So uh, let's dive into it, shall we? All right, this is what we're presented with on their Cinnamon desktop with a fresh installation. This is 19.1, and um, already it's got updates. <laughs> well, that's no surprise. I mean, it's under rapid development here. This is the welcome screen. Uh, let's see how much memory uh, they've got uh, this thing chewing up on a, a fresh run here. Um, free TechM. It's telling me that it's using 637 megs. Not sure why it's saying that, because I've actually seen it, I think it was like a 590 something uh, before. So that's kind of weird. All right. But at any rate, we have a general idea how much memory is being used. All right. And uh, of course, your welcome stream with the uh, welcome procedures. Maybe some of the first steps you might want to go through after doing a fresh installation. Some documentation, uh, where to get help, and for those of you who wish to contribute, they have that option available to you as well. All right, and all I'm doing here again uh, with all other ISO Watch episodes, just showing you the software in use, and then it's up to you to decide if you want to learn more and download the distribution. So I may miss a few um, new features and that sort of thing. Anything I don't see. Uh, right off the bat. Okay, uh, quick access to your uh, clock and uh, calendar on the lower right. Power management. Volume control. Network. And the Mint Update Manager. And it looks like this has had some polish to this since the last time I have looked at it. Okay, and uh, I imagine from here... Okay, first we need to dismiss the uh, welcome message. Okay, and uh, please set up system snapshots. That way if something breaks... Oh, that's interesting. So now it looks like they have you have the ability to uh, roll back um, in case an update breaks the system. That is cool. I haven't seen that in this before. So, And that may have been introduced before and just something I didn't notice until now. Okay. So we're seeing some new stuff here. All right, and um, okay, so you got your snapshots. Okay, and of course, if you want to add more sources, you can. Where you can add your PPAs. I like how they change the look of this. Okay, but it's been a long time since I've looked at the Mint update or so. Uh, as stated, you know, um, this maybe these are changes that I just haven't seen in a long time. All right, uh, quick launch will uh, open up your uh, Nemo uh, file manager right here. All right, uh, terminal access, Firefox web browser, and of course you can collapse all windows and show the desktop. Simple, standard stuff here. Linux Mint has always been um, a complete operating system, and uh, the a little bit of history, a lot of people didn't really care for what um, GNOME 3 brought to the table, hence uh, Cinnamon came out and made it more usable. And uh, so here we are uh, with the Cinnamon desktop, uh, quick access to um, the software manager right here. where you can easily install different applications and you can even search through the categories here. You also have access to your system settings and everything in Cinnamon can be controlled from here. And I gotta tell you, if you love customizing your desktop, Cinnamon is definitely a way to go. 
And this is a wonderful desktop to use if you're on modern hardware. I wouldn't really recommend this if you're using something older like a netbook. Although it will run, but you won't get the expected performance that you would if you were to uh, run this on a more modern CPU. So you have a lot of options here. And I mean, you can even right click on your panel and uh, also adjust some settings too and change themes or you can uh, get it from in here. And um, I've covered this stuff in many videos before in the past. Uh, so I'm not going to cover that in much detail here. Suffice it to say, Linux Mint gives you a ton of options for customizing this desktop to really make it your own. Okay, and uh, there's all kinds of ways that you can uh, get things. You can even add uh, themes uh, using this using this setup tool here. It's downloading some images, and then uh, much like KDE, you can browse for themes and then install them on the fly, which is really nice. You also have additional settings here. And everything else you need for configuring the system is uh, right here in your system settings. So you'll want to explore around and check some of this stuff out. All right, moving right along. Your standard set of applications come preloaded with this. All the accessories you need for a fully functional system, such as uh, an archive manager, a calculator, a character map. Uh, you can manage your disks. All of your fonts, everything is in here. And it looks like they even have Redshift in here. Now, for those of you who are like me, you stare at the computer all day long. And uh, this actually uh, changes the hue of the screen to um, uh, reduce stress on your eyes. Personally, I just go with a the dark theme rather than using... I, I don't use Redshift myself. I just use a dark theme on everything. And that seems to work out fine for me. But everybody has different workflows. So it's good they threw that in there. Looks like they have a password manager thrown in here as well. Okay, they even threw in a, a USB image writer and a USB stick formatter. So um, this is definitely complete, uh, much more complete than a lot of operating systems have had an uh, you know had an opportunity to look at. All right, in graphics uh, you get the GIMP. Um, what is this Pix program? Okay, this is a, an image organizer and then a, a simple scan. All right, uh, for internet you get. Um, a BitTorrent client, email client, IRC client, and a web browser. What else do you need? It does it all right here. Uh, although you may want to swap some of these out for different options in the Software Center. Full LibreOffice Suite also comes loaded with this. So if you got to get those uh, desktop publishing done, it's right here. All right, uh, you get a simple media player out of interest. What media player is included with this? Rhythmbox is also thrown in. It looks like this has got X player. My personal favorite is MPV, um, but I imagine most of these are like FFmpeg backed and that sort of thing. So, all right, good stuff indeed. And then, of course, you have the option to install uh, proprietary multimedia codecs, much to the chagrin of Richard Stallman, who wants you to give up your freedom to be free. <laughs> Why did I say that? Ugh. Okay, shut up, battery. All right, universal access. You got onboard on here, uh, which is an on-screen keyboard. Okay, and then, of course, uh, a bunch of other utilities for allowing you to get the most out of the system. Disk usage analyzer, a drive manager. Um, looks like the cat's meow here. Pretty much all the bells and whistles, everything you need is uh, thrown in here. Uh, for those of you who don't want to use uh, the uh, software center that I just showed you, uh, you can uh, access uh, all your packages through Synaptic, which I would prefer to use. Um, I, I, I would tend to prefer that over using a pretty fluffy uh, graphic manager, but hey, to each their own, right? The command line is your best friend. Okay, let's see what else we have here. All right, um, all your preferences are uh, set up here. So um, all your accessibility options, you've got Bluetooth, you can set that up here. You can set up uh, your screen effects, uh, lots of stuff in here. All right, so what we have here is a complete operating system. Looks like you even have some quick launches to your uh, everyday folders that you're going to use, documents, music, pictures, videos, and downloads. Okay, awesome sauce. Uh, this is still a beta. It's not complete yet. 
But um, you can download this and uh, have a uh, little look-see. Um, determine maybe if this is something that you would really like to use. Uh, I like what I see here. Personally, um, I prefer uh, XFCE over Cinnamon. But I know a lot of you love this desktop. And um, in the amount of time that I spent uh, looking through this and playing with it, um, it didn't break on me, which is a plus. So... Um, that's good, uh, I, and believe me, I have an unerring capacity for um, breaking things in cinnamon. I'm very good at doing that, uh, but nothing nothing seemed to break on me. So this is this seems to be pretty stable uh, for the most part. So all good stuff indeed. If you, so, go ahead, visit the link in the description, download this, and try it out for yourself if you're so inclined to do so. I'm not sure what I'm going to be covering next on Cup of Linux, but I'm sure I'm going to have something equally exciting. And so, until next time, please take a little bit of your time today and be excellent with somebody. Peace out! Mm -hmm.